waited down in here for days Tried to think of all the ways I was so in love with all the lonely I forgot how well that you know me Ahoy friends! Welcome to another episode of Real Talk with Kristen. As always, I am your host, Kristen. James is an amazing musician who's been touring across Australia, and today they're gonna give us a tour of their bus. If we're lucky, he might even play us some of his music. Yeah, guitar, did I do yeah. it? He did. Yeah. <laughs> didn't even know. Loved it. We be Before we get to the tour, let's meet these two. Hi, uh, my name's Liana and this is James. Hi, I'm James. Liana just told you my name. We're from <laughs> Xmouth um, and we're going to show you our little house today. Come on in. Yeah, come on in. Okay, so this is our fridge, which is the beginning of our kitchen. We really like this feature. We like the way that it's tucked away under the bench top. We have the cooktop on the top with the kettle store it there for driving. We have 240 volt power, uh, our sink, and cutting board. So we have some running water. We have some oranges, which Joe's gonna have one of those later. <laughs> on to you, Liana. We want to plant a bit of greenery in the bus, but um, living in Exmouth and then coming down to Perth, the climate change was so much, so a lot of our plants, unfortunately, Die. passed away. <laughs> but we'll eventually get more. We've got little tomatoes coming up at the moment. We have overhead storage. Um, we keep just oils and stuff up there, anything for cooking that will fit in there. And then we have just cleaning products, and then these are just uh, clothes. We have a rather large bed, um, a bit luxurious. <laughs> and this, um, it's like a little trap door. It's got all our stuff underneath, but we also made it as um, just like a table. And then we've got storage out the back. We love the ocean, so we have a lot of surfboards and James's music gear is all stored out the back as well. Yeah, the business end. So we've got all the solar controls and the inverter. Um, everything that provides us with all our power over here. Our batteries, we have two 180 amp hour lithium batteries. So the inverter is 2000 watt with a 4000 watt peak, which is more than enough for our needs. We've got the MPPT solar charger, which basically controls the flow of solar. And then we can see our control unit here, which is just basically a digital display allowing us to see on the fly all the time how much solar we have coming in. Have you ever ran out? Never, not even no, close. We don't even use... We don't even scratch the surface. The cool, really cool thing about it is, and the reason we went so big, is so that I can do shows. So to basically yeah. just pull up and play a show. So it's just icebreaker questions, like those rapid ones where you <coughs> just say the first thing that comes to your mind. Yeah. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Dogs. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Chocolate. Biggest pet peeve. What's a pet peeve? Like something that irritates you. Sand in the bed for him. Sand in the bed. <laughs> There's a place for sand and it's on the bed. And um, using tea towels to wipe the table. That's Liana's. Do you like olives? Love. That's obsessed. Liana's favorite food. You? I like ice cream more. Something you wouldn't do for one million dollars. Um, Lick a public toilet. Yeah. Oh, lots. Lots and lots of stuff. Probably would do that for a million dollars. <laughs> I don't. There's not much that I wouldn't do um, for that. Probably swim in really shark infested waters. I'd, I'd do that. Favorite, <laughs> favorite pizza topping. Pineapple. Olives. What's something you could eat for a week straight? Custard, yogurt, anything dairy. Uh, olives. Yeah. <laughs> a bit of jar you, of olives. You hit us with the olives. Liana drinks the olive juice. I don't. When I was. A, you used to. No. <laughs> What are you most afraid of? Um, Failing. Cockroaches. 
And lastly, do you like pina coladas or getting caught in the rain? <laughs> um, caught in the rain. Pina colada. <laughs> you ever had a pina colada? I don't I think I have. I, th <laughs> I, I think it sounds really good. Tell me how long you guys have been living in the bus. Uh, we've been in the bus full time for about three months now. Is there anything that you found harder than you thought it would be? Parking. Parking. Yeah. yeah, parking's harder than we thought it would be because the bus is eight meters long yeah. and we normally have a boat on the back as well, which is another six meters. So, yeah. pretty big rig going down the boat ramp. It's interesting. Especially when I'm in the driver's seat. Reversing <laughs> your house down the boat yeah. ramp gives you small amounts of anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> We first saw James play in Exmouth, which is about 14 hours yeah. drive from here. And then I followed him on Instagram and we got to see him play the other night. But you guys built the bus there. It's a really small town, so what was it like building this in that time? Um, it was pretty warm. We did it leading into the summer, which yeah. I'm glad we didn't do it in the middle of summer. It would have been incredibly hot. It was also really expensive and hard to get the materials that we needed. Most of the build was done over an eight week period. They only have a really, really small hardware store there, so everything had to be ordered um, online. But yeah, we, we used a lot of reusable... Recycled yeah. materials. Pallets, pieces yeah. of driftwood, like this guy here, just from the beach. And these guys had no real building experience, right? No. You just kind of... We, yeah, we just wing, been, winged it. Why did you start living in the bus? Was it because of your music tour? It was a big part. And we love to travel. We love to travel and living this way, it gives us a lot of freedom with, with doing music and, mm. and, and doing music tours. We just, we didn't need a lot of the stuff that we had. We wanted to simplify our lives and... Yeah. And we have a friends who actually inspired us. I've got a house truck. Um, and three kids in the truck as well, so they're super inspirational to yeah. us. I think it's a common thing with people living this type of lifestyle is just noticing that we need so much less than we think we need. Yeah, and even yeah. power, like we just charge our laptops and our, our phones and our cameras, a few other things, and that's that's really all the power that you need. You don't need to be on the grid to do that. Solar, like get it from the sun for free. What is your favorite thing about living in the bus? Being able to just cook and be at the location you want to be and you can stay there for like the whole day and you have everything yeah. with you. We go from our driver's seat, we shuffle past where Joe's standing now and we're into our house. Sometimes the space thing can get a little yeah. bit, that's the biggest um, compromise that you make with this lifestyle is, is the loss of space. But there are so many other positive things that yeah. far outweigh. Yeah. So. I wish our van wasn't in the shop so we could show you that this is a mansion. <laughs> <laughs> we were ne we never planned on buying a bus. We were really we were going to get a van. Yeah. But the price was right and it was available when we were looking, yeah. so we just went for it. So who does the cooking and the cleaning? <clears throat> um, James is a good cook. He does mostly all the cooking, and then um. Usually, I'm the one that does all the dishes and the cleaning. We're, we're and probably about 50. Yeah, 50. it is. A, yeah. I love when you pick for me. Yeah. <laughs> you prefer to clean up? I would way prefer to clean. If yeah. you serve me the food and I get yeah. to eat it, yeah. I would way rather clean up. Yeah. And you guys might be the opposite. Yeah, I'd prefer cook. to cook. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Joe. <laughs> but then Joe usually helps me clean up. Uh. So Joe's got the double shift. <laughs> yeah. Well. When did your love of music begin? Um, when I was a kid, my great granddad's brother, I don't know what that is to me. Great uncle. Great uncle. My great uncle had a really, really nice uh, Gibson guitar that was passed down to my side of the family. And I didn't know how to play the guitar, but I was kind of really obsessed with it for a long time. And just it pretty much went from there. What made you decide to go on this tour and live on the road and just really pursue your music? Playing music and travelling, they go together really well and it allows us to see a lot of Australia and a lot of really beautiful places. I don't want to be stuck doing something when I always felt like I should have been doing something else. Music's a real calling card for me. So. 
I just we just decided to follow it, and I'm lucky enough to have someone like Liana who's so supportive as well. Yeah, I love it. Um, I love travelling, so for me, it's just like a bonus that you know we're on the same page and that we want to just do it together. So yeah. Are you able with the music to sustain this life on the road, or did you have some savings? At the moment, we have. Um, some loans that are outstanding that we're paying. If we didn't have those, we would be actually living the dream. But at the moment, we're really just able to sustain living. Just like a basic style of living. Very like. honest. <laughs> I think that's good. It's important yeah. to share. Yeah. Before we get you to play, I just want to know, do you have any advice or tips or say anything to people that want to make a change or want to do something that's maybe outside of the norm? Um, if you're prepared to put in the work and the time to build yourself a bus or a little mobile house, then I think you are the kind of person that has the capacity to live the lifestyle. If you feel like it's something that you've wanted to do and but you're really struggling to commit, it might not be the thing for you because there are there are pros and cons with living on the road, the space. Um, people were outside all the time when you're trying to sleep and watch movies, like they're really inconsiderate. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to watch Netflix in here, guys. Um, cool. Thank you guys so much. I think I'm going to get out of the <clears> frame <throat> so we can listen to you play. Cool. Waited for this day to come I knew that you'd be the one I wasn't without my only And you were without your lonely Your lonely You could take me to the ground Turn this heavy stone around I've become a slave No longer made for days And all this loneliness I'll surely drown And I was looking straight into the sun Banging on a battle drum I can't take this now Been sad for days so let's go now Will you come straight into the sun Banging on a battle drum I can't take this now You happy with that or do you want another one? <laughs> Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to catch James on social media, we're going to put all his links below to his Instagram, YouTube, Spotify, and go check him out. Show him some love. Thank you guys for joining me today. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. If you like this video, toss it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, do that. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Love. <laughs> Is our hair okay? All of us. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Give it a skip. What do I do with my hands? Let's, let's stand <laughs> on this button. Like, yes. And I'm gonna redo it because I lost my. <laughs> <laughs> That's good though. My hands are now like. Everyone's hands are just still. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> 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 <Bloopers. All right. laughs> Ready? Are they? <laughs> <laughs> You just say, it. did you start living? You just don't say, go. <laughs> <laughs> but how? <clears throat>